Buffon Voices by Jimmy Two Head. Why do psychiatrists ask, do you hear voices? It is a baited question posed to schizophrenics. Also, it is a stupid question because on the one hand, if the patient says yes, then it is acknowledged that the patient hears voices. However, the doctor can't hear the voices. But the doctor is acknowledging the patient verbatim when a patient says that they hear voices. Yet, few psychiatrists or members of the public will acknowledge anything else a person diagnosed with schizophrenia supposition. Instead, the norm being to assume that the person hears voices 24-7, 365. Thus, schizophrenics are discounted, except in the cases when the patient says that they hear voices, which is stigma. The term voices originated from hospital settings wherein a patient used the most apt term available to them in their limited vocabulary and education to describe their experience. The term voices was then coined by psychiatrists and used in the DSM-4 because psychiatrists heard the term on the ward originally from patients. Royalties? One supposition is that there is no such thing as voices to describe a schizophrenic's experience. Hearing voices is hearing things that are not there or within earshot. In terms of the DSM-4 schizophrenia definition of it, thinking is voices. A person sounds out words in the brain before uttering the words. It might take a nanosecond for the brain's thoughts sounding out to reach the tongue. In that nanosecond, it is a voice that is not there. Thus, a thought is a voice. Everybody has thoughts, so everybody hears voices. The term voices to describe what a schizophrenic might be experiencing is a misconstrued description of what is disorganized thinking to one degree or another in terms of the manifestation of disorganized thinking in varied individuals, not just schizophrenics. Lastly, if voices originate from within the brain because there is no other source for them, then what is voices but thoughts?